Welcome, I'm Dr. Janine Bowering, and today I'll be discussing how to balance your hormones and something called pregnenolone steel. Now, a lot of people have not heard about this phenomenon, but it probably is the cause of most people's hormonal imbalances, especially when we're talking about the sex steroid hormones. Estrogen, progesterone, testosterone, our stress levels, our cortisol levels. This has a lot to do with everything that's happening hormonally, and this could be why you may be stressed struggling and you don't know it. The great news is that I have some great tips on how to fix this pregnenolone steel syndrome that's happening. So make sure you stay tuned right until the end of the video. Also, if you're new here, make sure that you're subscribed and be sure to give me a big thumbs up. I know you will love this info and I know that you will learn something new. So let's take a look at what's actually happening with pregnenolone steel. So pregnenolone is something that is secreted and created by the adrenal glands and with the utilization of cholesterol. That's why cholesterol is not a bad thing. Cholesterol is something that we absolutely need for our proper hormonal cascade. Now, what happens unfortunately is that in times of stress or when we have something called leptin resistance, and this is something that I've talked about at length in other videos, so make sure that you check that out. But with leptin resistance, what is happening instead of the normal breakdown of pregnenolone being the precursor for our DHEA which then gets converted into our testosterone and our estrogen and on the other side of the equation here our pregnenolone is being converted into progesterone so this is our normal flux of our hormone production and of course progesterone now is making our cortisol and as well as aldosterone now what happens with with stress and something called the leptin resistance is that this preferentially is going to go in this direction with our pregnenolone going here and preferentially making cortisol. So what does that mean? That means our body now unfortunately is no longer going to be able to make our DHA and that means low testosterone levels. So for the guys who are losing their libido, for the women as well, if you're libido is low and starting to have some of those negative aspects of low testosterone that's because we've shut this down because this is the pregnenolone steel all that pregnenolone is being stolen to come down here for our stress hormone production and the body will always preferentially choose that cortisol that stress hormone production it is a means historically for our bodies in terms of survival and that's why it's called the pregnenolone steel so you can see now the negative aspects of this low dha this could be evaluated in your blood work low estrogen very common in women of course with hormonal issues as well as now our progesterone is getting used up to make that cortisol also low aldosterone is related to blood pressure so this is our big blood pressure regulator so we could have some high blood pressure related to our pregnenolone steel now the other thing that's implicated here is our thyroid hormone so in times of stress now when we've got this lots of cortisol being produced that cortisol will shut down our T4 to T3 conversion in our thyroid in our active thyroid hormones that is not going to happen so what's because we have that high cortisol so now we have thyroid disease as well and this is why we have difficulty losing that weight and that's why hormonal weight gain this is starting up here starting with that leptin resistance the leptin resistance had that negative impact it's causing this pro progesterone to be shunted and our pregnenolone being shunted to our cortisol so it really was the leptin resistance first that started this whole cascade and that's why we have to fix that leptin resistance to help our body weight, to help our energy, to help our stress, and to help our other hormones as well. So in terms of what causes this pregnenolone steel being very common, certainly if we have a lot of stress and we're not managing our stress well, our exposure to EMFs, so the non-native EMFs from the environment, things you know from our cell phones, our devices, anything that's plugged into a wall is giving us that radiation, which can offset this entire cascade, as well as inflammation in the body. So this, of course, is going to increase our cortisol levels as well. 
and the leaky gut syndrome, which can be related to allergies, also having some bad organisms in the gut, and lack of sleep. So if we are not getting restful sleep, then this is definitely an impact on this pregnenolone steel and our imbalance in our hormones. So how do we fix this? Well, these are my five tips on how to fix the pregnenolone steel. Tip number one is to fix our leptin resistance. So if you missed my show all about and entitled the science of weight loss, leptin resistance, be sure to check that out because the leptin resistance is what causes this entire cascade from the outset. You will not be able to fully heal all of your hormones and balance your hormones unless you address your leptin resistance. Tip number two is to decrease your stress. So, you know, I have a lot of different tips on how to do this. I love meditation and yoga. We actually have some binaural beats and some great meditation videos here on YouTube. So make sure that you check those out. You can get into that nice, relaxed Zen state and really has a really impactful healing ability on your body. So be sure to check those out as well. Tip number three is to decrease inflammation in your body. And often, you know, this is related to dietary inflammatory foods. You want to decrease those, the PUFAs. So the polyunsaturated fatty acids are notorious for increasing inflammation in the body. So you want to focus on the healthier fats and decrease those inflammatory fats. Tip number four is to fix the leaky gut. So those tight junctions that have opened up, they need to be repaired. The good news is it only takes about five days for that to start to happen. So that's, you know, it, it is restorative and reparative, but you have to take the right steps to do that. So in my video called the science of leaky gut, everything that you need to know about leaky gut. I have all the tips in that video, so be sure to check that out on how to repair your leaky gut. And tip number five on helping your pregnenolone steel syndrome is to decrease your EMF exposure. So all of those devices, anything that's plugged in and radiation that's coming at you from cell phones and Wi-Fi, we really have to try to decrease our exposure and do everything that we can to stay grounded and protected. So if you missed that show, check out my secrets of how EMFs affect your health, parts one and two, and that will really help to guide you in the right direction as to how to help this hormonal imbalance and pregnenolone steal. So if you've got questions or comments, I would love to hear from you. Please leave them below for me and be sure to share this video with someone that you know will benefit from the information please give me that big thumbs up. I truly appreciate all your great feedback. And if you're new here, make sure that you're subscribed and turn on your post notifications by clicking that bell. And remember to always take care of your good health and do it naturally.